The Phillips curve has long tracked the relationship between unemployment and the rate of inflation. The theory suggested that tight labor markets were a primary driver of inflation, particularly the wage price spiral, which tends to be one of the most persistent types and very difficult to reverse. The inflation we're experiencing today, though, has several different components that make it more complex. Supply chain issues resulting from global lockdowns, coupled with massive central bank stimulus, seems to be much more of the driver of inflation than the labor market. Even as the Fed stays steadfast in its hiking cycle, the labor market appears to show continued tightness, with a current unemployment rate of 3.5%, down from a post-pandemic high of over 14% in April of 2020. The question is, can the Fed pause its tightening cycle while the labor market remains robust? I think the answer to that question is yes. According to some economists, it's estimated that over 3 million baby boomers left the workforce early during the pandemic which could be a reason that mass layoffs have yet to occur, despite some anecdotal data from the tech industry. Now, couple this with the healing supply chains and weakness in some key commodities may convince analysts that although the Fed would like to see some weakness in the labor market, they may look to other areas for evidence that inflation is retreating.